okay good morning all <clears throat> in today's session we are going to discuss tools used by system analyst so here the main task of system analyst is to design and uh, uh, refer a new system to the organization so one of the most important task of a system analyst is to understand the user requirements what are the user needs so how he is going to implement the system into the organizations so to suggest that the system analyst needs to understand the two aspects the first one is so he need to understand the flow of documents in the organization <clears throat> what are the documents referred by the organization how they are uh, collecting the information recording the information processing the information as well as how they are going to prepare the final documents uh, so that it can refer to make a decision in the organizations that is the first aspect and the second aspect uh, they, he need to understand what are the rules used to process the data so every data has its own every data has its own rules and regulations and some conditions to process it into the computer system so what are the rules used to process those data the system analyst need to understand that so to understood better these two aspects to understood these two aspects in better way so he need to use some of the tools so what are those tools means he has to refer a two rules a two tools to analyze the data available in the organization those tools are the first one is data flow diagram so here using data flow diagram he need to specify the origin of data and how they flow through a system and where they are processed so here two important tools are used by system analyst to analyze the system into the organization the first tool is data flow diagram so here the data flow diagram which specifies the origin of the data and how it flows into the organization and from uh, where the source of data is collected and how the data is processed with the different conditions or different criteria so all those things so data flow means from one section to another section how data is going to pass uh, in between uh, system so that that he need to uh, refer with the diagram that is called data flow diagram and the second tool is he need to refer with decision tables here decision tables are used to specify some complex processing where you need to specify some rules and uh, against that rules what are the business rules are applied and according to that whether that business rule is applicable or not applicable you have to uh, uh, write it in terms of a table manner and uh, uh, before that whether it is applicable applicable then you have to put a right mark if it is not applicable you have to put a, a cross mark so that you can easily understood what are the business rules are uh, implementing into the organization and how these uh, uh, decision rules are making Uh, with the help of decision tables these two are very important tools used by system analyst to analyze the system concepts and after that he also refers some of the other tools such as like a database management system so in short it is called dbms you know that so every data when it is processed it needs to be stored in a particular place so where you have to place your data means that is in the database so to uh, manage systematically the data uh, in terms of database management system you have to refer a particular uh, a language 
so uh, that language is associated with the dbms like we are using sql structured query language using those type of uh, languages uh, you can manipulate with the data and you can process your data and generate reports in different uh, format so those are called rapid prototyping of systems and as well as you have to quickly obtain some of the prototype uh, to get uh, user feedback like uh, you have to uh, collect information from the customers from the various uh, 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 stakeholders who are dealing business with the organizations so you have to get the feedback and you have to record it and if any comments are there or if any queries are there you have to uh, try to solve it in a better way so that uh, it will it, it will build your goodwill of the organization as well as it will uh, build a good rapport uh, uh, about the organization and as well as the system analyst also refers some of the programs called spreadsheets so spreadsheets are the programs which are provided the pages in terms of a uh, tabular format where ready made rows and columns are available and you can easily uh, type your data in terms of columns and rows okay so uh, for example if the cost of a raw material xyz change by pqr how it, it is going to affect to the final cost of the product so that you can refer it very easily with the help of a spreadsheet a spreadsheet allows to uh, uh, filter the data present the data as well as to calculate uh, different uh, calculations in a, a spreadsheet programs so that you can also use as a tool uh, to analyze your data and further these type of program also allows to generate some reports in terms of a graphics uh, manner so you can present your information in, in a, a visual manner so in a, a chart or in a graphic or by using different visual effect you can represent your information in terms of final uh, report so these are the some of the other tools used by the system analyst and the next process of system analyst is gathering the information so he, uh, how system analyst collect information from various various sources so gathering in information is a, a large process and it is a complex one in the organization because it is a difficult task so because it takes time so a system analyst needs to prepare lot of things to collect the data how he needs to collect the data that you have to he has to make a, a plan for gathering information from various sources so all relevant relevant personals in the organization should be consulted and no information overlooked in the organization every uh, personal uh, uh, with every personal the system analyst needs to uh, make a, a interview and collect uh, the information by asking questions and he he will not uh, miss any a single piece of information related to the organization very often what hurts an analyst most is what is not stated by the user because they assume that it is obvious and everyone knows it so those obvious has to uh, understood by the system analyst so everything cannot be uh, speak in words so sometimes some of the situations or some of the circumstances tells and speaks itself uh, about the obviousness and uh, uh, everyone knows it okay so those type of information should be collected by the system analysts by uh, analyzing by by his experience he should understood it okay so the analyst analyst should pursue such situations a clear strategy should be evolved by the analyst to gather information into the organization and what are the strategies he need to follow to gather the information is first he should identify information source from which source he should collect the information that he has to identify it and the second thing is he has to evolve what method of obtaining information should be identified 
Okay, so he should obtain a, a method of in uh, 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 gathering information. So whether he has to uh, collect the information by interview or by questionnaire or by personal interview. So there are various methods to gather information. So among all those, he need to choose any one method to obtain information from the identified sources. And the third thing is he need to develop an information flow model of the organization. How information flow from one section to another section means one department to another department and who is going to refer it and as well as uh, on, on the basis of information, what, what is the importance of information and what decision can be made on those uh, provided information that he has to develop a, a flow model of the organization at the third level. So these are the strategies he needs to follow for information gathering. And as well as he has to identify the sources of information. So you may consider the following, the main sources of information. The first is user of the system. Who is going to use the system? He knows better how he's going to implement every task of the organization. So he has experience with the situations of the organization. Therefore, the first source of the information is user. And the second one is he needs to follow some of the forms and documents used in the organization. So uh, what are the documents already existed in the document and what are the uh, history and uh, what are the achievements of the organization? Those are all available in terms of documents in the organization, as well as the forms, the field informations. So everything he, he need to refer as the source of the information. And the third one is, so he need to uh, uh, refer the procedure manuals and rule books of the organization where it specifies uh, various activities carried out in the organization as well as each activity how it has to do in the organization every procedure is uh, specified in terms of procedure manual and as a rule book so that is also considered as a, another source of information and the third, fourth one is so he need to follow the various reports used in the organization. So uh, in every levels of the organization, there are different kinds of reports. Like uh, 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 as we discussed in previous sessions, there are three levels in the structure of the organization. That is the top level, middle level, and the bottom level. So every uh, levels of the organization is controlled and authorized by some personals. So uh, every department is uh, headed by a manager and under him team leaders are working and under team leaders, the bottom level uh, layman's and labors are working. So in each level, there are different kinds of information can be generated and it can be represented in terms of reports. So those reports also should be referred as the source of information. At last, the last you have you also referred the computer programs of the existing system with their documentation. So, uh, what or which software is used to re, uh, to record, to process, and to generate the reports into the computer? So th that software you need to refer as well as you have to uh, understood what are the procedures of working of the system and as well as how reports are generating, in what format reports are generating. Uh, if you understand better this, so you can propose a new software or new uh, system to the organization. So uh, as a system analyst, he needs to refer all these sources of information. So this is what uh, today's discussion, okay. So in today's discussion, if you have any doubts, you may ask questions. So no doubts. Okay, I'm going to share this uh, uh, PPT as well as YouTube video. So go through once again. If you find any query, please send your query through WhatsApp group. Okay, I will reply for your query. So we'll continue in the next session with the new topic. Thank you.